This video will be a full ArtSpace review and tutorial, including all of the latest features and updates as of November 2nd, 2025. But I think I'll call this my ArtSpace review 2026 because we're just a couple months away from 2026 and they just rolled out a ton of new features and updates. So I've been getting into those and I'm really looking forward to demonstrating them for you. Just a quick overview, ArtSpace is an AI image generator, and I'm currently in the canvas mode right here, working on concept art for a female superhero, which is a character that I've written several stories about. And so I just spent about five minutes generating these pictures in the canvas mode. And in just a moment, we'll switch over to the other tools and take a look at what we can do there. And then we'll come back and dive a bit deeper into canvas mode as well. Now I am an ArtSpace affiliate. You can find my affiliate link in the description of this video. I'd really appreciate it if you use that, if you want to check out ArtSpace, because then I will get a commission if you make a purchase. And I've known the creator of ArtSpace for several years, and he's created a number of solid products, but ArtSpace is by far my favorite. I really like the work that it generates for me, and it does still have a lifetime deal available. So the first link in the description will go to this page and they have multiple different tiers of lifetime deals, including the unlimited lifetime deal, which is what I have. Or if you think that you need less than that, then you can get one of the less expensive versions. But there's not a lot of generative AI tools that are doing lifetime deals like this anymore especially not with this level of quality. And honestly, I've used a decent number of AI image generators and most of them don't have as much flexibility as ArtSpace. By the way, my name's Alex. I'm a digital marketer with Lover Fighter Writer. If you'd like to see more content from me, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if you feel like it. And if you need more software reviews and tutorials and marketing tutorials, stuff like that, check out the rest of the check out the rest of the videos on my channel. So up here in the top right, I'm going to turn off canvas mode and this will take me back to what is now the main dashboard. And right at the top here, we've got a new image generator, a face swap and a upscale and an image upscaler. Now I find the image generator to be a much less powerful version of the canvas image generator. So I prefer to generate my images in the canvas and then bring them back here to use the other tools. But you can generate images right here or use the face swapper or the image upscaler. And these are my favorite tools that they've introduced and the ones we're gonna take a look at first. So we've got change scene, change expression, change pose. And I just uploaded one of the concept art images to change pose. And there's some presets that you can work with, but I'm gonna go for custom. See how fancy we can get with this. All right, so this is what it came up with. Let's take a closer look here. Oh, can't zoom in very far on it. I'll download it really quick. Well, all right, that's not bad. There's this weird blotch back here. And to be honest, the, the guy isn't very good, but it's a pretty sweet action pose. It'd be really easy to just remove that part or just remove all of the background. And then I can use this of her. And then I can use this as an image of her climbing anything. And further down, we also have change rotation, change hairstyle, add tattoo, makeup artist, change weight, change age, add accessories, add clothing, change clothing, remove accessories and teeth enhancement. And there are a number of AI avatar tools. So the idea with these is that you can take a real picture and create an AI avatar of yourself. But of course, you could also do this with an AI generated picture, everything from fantasy avatar to professional headshot and so on. And then the epic scenes, I think these are just kind of presets that can put existing images into specific places. Obviously, you can do that with the canvas tool as well, but this just makes it easier. And there's also some tools for e-commerce photo generators, which will save a lot of people a lot of hassle and money. I know that getting really high quality e-commerce photos can be expensive and it's not necessarily that easy to do on your own. So this is a really good idea. And I think a lot of people get a lot of benefit out of this. And then there's some kind of stock artistic effects like anime style, Studio Ghibli style, Cartoonify, Renaissance portrait. I'm probably gonna have some fun with that one. Actually, let's take a quick look at that. We'll redo this one as a Michelangelo sculpture. Hey, that's actually pretty cool. That actually kind of gave me an idea. It's something I might check out later. But for now, we'll keep looking. We've got some creative enhancements. And again, you can do most of this stuff in Canvas, but these are just common tools that will be a lot easier for most people to use in here. You can change the weather and the time of day. 
add and remove and change backgrounds or, or remove the foreground. That's really cool. And there are now specific images for adding and there are now specific tools for adding text. There are also object manipulation tools, real estate tools, automotive tools, and a prompt generator. If you're having trouble writing good prompts, then I guess you can use this to help yourself. So let's go back to canvas mode here and I'll just walk through how everything works. So everything over on the left will take you somewhere else. Uh, these are not tools that actually operate on the canvas. This goes to the ArtSpace user gallery. This goes to some tutorials, I think, but this left bar is, is not important at all. And then up at the top, we have undo, redo, history, formulas, which are kind of like Mad Lib prompts where it gives you some things to fill in and then it writes the prompt for you. You can clear the canvas. You can upload, you can upload a gallery of pictures or you can upload a single image or you can download single images as well as grouped images. And then over here in the top right, well, not all the way to the right, we have the magnification. So you can zoom in and zoom out. This zooms to focus on the selected image and this zooms to incorporate all images on the table on the canvas. So when I click that, I can see everything. And when I click this, it will show me, well, it goes to this square because I haven't selected an image there. Select this image and, and then over on the right, you can select a variety of different generative models. And the Nova Pro has a bunch of different presets within it for different styles. And Nova Pro has a bunch of different preset styles within it, which I've generated a lot of really good images with. And then these other three are all newer and they all just have one preset way of generating but you can define all the details that you want down here in the prompt. So this is where you enter the prompt and then you click this magic button to generate. And just to finish on the right column here. So after you've selected the version that you want, you can toggle on or off boost visual, boost visual vibrance. I usually have it on. You can also toggle on or off the content filter, which is supposed to prevent it from generating anything inappropriate. And you can also add negative prompts which are things that you don't want it to include. So if you've tried generating something multiple times, like for example, if every time I generated this, there was always like a brightly colored with lettering thing on in the background, then I might say something about that in negative prompt because I would want it to look more like one of these three in the background, not like this one, because this one is just a little bit too eye-catching. And so I want the background to be like kind of more guide the eye towards her not to have you know whatever this is going on back here but since it only did that once i didn't have to add it and the seed number is kind of a reference point that the ai uses and so you can click down here to copy the seed number of your most recently generated image and then you can paste it right in here and anything that you generate will be similar to the previous one so if you really like an image that you generate, but you want it to be a little bit different, a lot of the presets in the main dashboard would probably help with that. But you can also try copying the seed number and then slightly modifying the prompt. And keep in mind, all four of these used exactly the same prompt. I didn't change it. I think I used three different language models though. But even if I had used the exact same language model on all of them, there would still be significant variance. So copying the seed number can help it be more consistent. And then the last thing to look at are the tools that are built into, that are accessible via the images themselves. So clear would delete this specific image, rotate rotates the image, clone creates a copy of it, zoom will zoom in on this image. And then we have some one-click tools. And then by clicking on the wand, you can actually open the one-click tools inside of Canvas. So let's go with change scene and I'll say fighting a pair of thugs on a rooftop. Okay, so that's obviously not great, but I'm sure if I played around with the prompts or maybe tried some of the other tools, I could probably get this workable. Actually, what I do like about this is the background. I really like that background and also the foreground with the, uh, the roof and everything. Basically, it did a great job of generating the, everything except for her. It just didn't change her at all. But that's how the change scene is supposed to work, right? So I guess I would have to run this through the pose changer as well. But I can think about that later. 
I think that's been a pretty good overview of the new features, nice little review of ArtSpace, and they're probably not going to be introducing new features for a while as they tweak and update these. And the really cool thing about all of these one-click tools is that a lot of them are things you could actually offer as a service, like some business owners or companies might be interested in getting avatars made of their employees or their C-suite. And there are a lot of ways that you can sell the type of thing that we used to have to use Photoshop to do, but now you can just do it with these one-click tools. So remember to so remember to use my affiliate link. It's down in the description to check out the Artspace lifetime deal if you're interested in that. They also do have monthly plans, which are very inexpensive, but in my opinion, if you're planning on generating a decent amount of images, if you're planning if you're planning on using it as part of your business or using it to start a business, then I would definitely recommend getting the lifetime deal because you'll save a ton on costs going forward. And this is like my fourth tutorial of ArtSpace. It's at least my third, maybe my fourth. And that's because they've updated it so many times. You can go back and watch my older ArtSpace videos if you want and see the massive difference in the quality of the images and the ease with which you can use the tool. But a lot of the good things are still here. Like this canvas has been very similar the entire time. They've tweaked it and modified it to make it a little bit easier to use, to add new features. And now this one-click tool section in the main dashboard, this is quite new but it's gonna be really, really useful. And I think it's gonna save a lot of people a lot of time. All right, thanks for watching. Remember to check out the links in the description. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you again soon.